Hi, everybody. My name is Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Eli. I'm Jason. And we're the Hoon Throw YouTube channel. And we thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. It is a preparation day. Yeah. Which means tomorrow's a Shabbat. Yay! All right. Wow. Those are solid drummers, and we have like extra uh, curricular noise making machines on the table as well. A bunch of callers. All right. Oh. So, anyway, it didn't do it. I'm going to burned out anyway hopefully you guys are doing well uh we are uh, doing as good as we can do <clears throat> out here in the middle of a jungle and uh we need y'all said that uh it sounded like i was getting a little raspy in the voice and um i think all of us miss nicole is getting raspy in the voice we've all taken up smoking what uh, you haven't taken up smoking okay well we have taken up smoking ever since there has been a um a basically the uh a revolution in this country there's no gas there's no propane there's no food available um, we've been cooking 100 percent of the time outdoors and our cooking stuff is like right out our door and so it doesn't matter we have breakfast lunch and dinner and it becomes a haze in this house and so we are under um uh smoky conditions so literally we've all taken up smoking whether we want to or not <clears throat> and I think that's what that is all about. So, um, probably should clarify that. Yeah, yeah. It's well, that, that's the joke. That was part of the joke. So, you guys are all part of one of Big Daddy's jokes. You made it. All right. So, anyway, here we are, everybody. We are into the writings of Elijah. For anybody who does not know what we are reading, the free download is right here. You can grab these. The it's in the description below. The top one is the 66 book, the bottom one is the Apocrypha. They've all been updated. They are very, very good free downloads that you guys can get, stick on every device, and read what the Word of Yah has for you in your life and your family, family's lives. And if you would like to purchase this, it's $64. It is a large print, 103 book scriptures um, coming uh, late February, early March. These will be available. Very nice, large print books with three bookmarks. Probably the greatest English translation that has ever been put out anywhere. And so we are rocking and rolling the, the writings of Elijah. And we have dogs everywhere for everybody who um, who's aware and around. And I saw Sister Barb say that sometimes that Hasatan can get inside of animals as well. And that is absolutely true. Um, but for the most part, these guys are just like little kids and they just need loves at certain times and we all wake up and we literally just woke up and it, inside of waking up, we all sit right down to the table. And so the dogs all come around and they just want to see us and want loves and do with the things that dogs do. So hopefully it's not too much of a disturbance for everybody because they are our family. And so we have to live in this environment. Anyone want to give me a quick lowdown of where we were, where we're at? Um, anybody, I think Kate or Jade's the only one who could possibly be qualified for this. Um, let whole chat has been talking about how to follow Torah, how you, what you need to do, the trials and tribulations will go against the things that people should know about the history of the ancestors getting in captivity, getting free from Egypt, going to the land, and how they sinned, and these all went astray, and he said we should know about these things, and that uh, everybody should be able to follow these, there is nothing you know, wrong with these, and it's everything we can apply to our lives. Yeah, and so this is a guidebook for a clubhouse, for a, a clubhouse of uh, elect. People that are not like the rest of them and a very, very small amount of them. And it's not a small amount due to the fact that um, there's only a, a limited number that can come in there. It's a small amount because it's limited that nobody wants to keep the laws, statutes, and commandments of our Creator. They, they don't care what the laws are. They don't care about Him. They don't care about His ways. And if you do not care about the ways of our Creator... He's not going to carry you to where you want to be. He will allow you to hang out with your father, who would be Hasatan, because if you're not obeying the laws of our creator, then by default, you're obeying the laws of his little created entity, which is Hasatan, the devil. And we would not want to be that because the rest of the world is simply like that. And so we are uh, those people who believe that we can find a different path based upon scriptures, from Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. That is called the Torah. That is the first five books of scriptures. And these first five books inside of them contain vast amounts of information and knowledge and wisdom and things that you will um, definitely want if you care about your soul. And that's what we're here. <clears throat> we are here trying to protect people's souls. And so when we are um, reading through this, this is our only main goal. This is our only main um, hopes and dreams is that you guys out there will find this awesome truth. Okay, everyone ready? Yep. Okay, here we are. 
Jade's over there smoking again, <laughs> coughing it up. Okay, here we go. These are the fruits of Elohim, of the Elohim of the Ruach, in enlightenment, whereby a man can perceive the ways of Elohim to walk therein, discernment to know the good from evil, reverence for the name of Yahuwah, and conscious of the approaching judgments of Elohim, humility, patience, abundant charity, love of righteousness, vision, wisdom, trust, faith, confidence in the power of the almighty Elohim, knowledge, self-mastery, sancti sancti sanctity, pure thoughts, abounding love for all who follow the truth, purity, modesty, and the ability to hide within oneself the secrets of Elohim, which one has received. Okay, now I went over these slowly because these are, we've heard of the fruits of the spirit before, right? Right. We've all heard of the fruits of the spirit. Now these are fruits of Elohim. And it's, um, there's some really good stuff, right? Let's talk about it. Enlightenment whereby a man can perceive the ways of Elohim to walk therein. I believe that is very true. I believe that we have all have this understanding that if we so choose that we are looking for the ways of Elohim, that we can be enlightened, that we can be that we can figure this out, right? Our creator has given that to us. Our family had no idea what Torah keeping was. We were a we were as good a Christians as you can come. Uh, Sunday keeping, pork eating, um, Babylonian style Christians. And we had no idea about this. But we started reading and all of a sudden we're getting some enlightenment. We start understanding under things about it. Next thing is on this, this list is discernment to know the good from the evil. Do we have that, gentlemen? Do we know right from wrong? Yes, we know right from wrong since little, it's, we're very young. How do we know right from wrong, though? Well, it goes against the Torah or what the Torah says. Or what your parents tell you, because without the Torah, you wouldn't know well, right from wrong. It goes hand in hand with the Torah, like you disobey your parents or... Yeah, and there is, I mean, all of us have known, I mean, when you get older, you understand what evil and what good is, and it, you, you choose that path. You choose either evil or you choose good, and, there, and there's no... There's no middle ground. There's like no almost evil or almost good. It's you are either in covenant with our creator or you're not. Okay. Is it raining out there already? Yeah, yeah it's uh, starting to rain. Bummer. All right. <clears throat> Reverence for the name of Yahuwah and consciousness of the, appear of the approaching judgments of Elohim. Does anybody worry about the, the, the world to come, the judgment day? Yes. I mean, yes. And this is, this is what it says the part of our, our fruits are that our creator has given to us. Along with that, it's humility, patience. Um, I don't have any patience. Um, I ho do hope I have a lot of humility. Um, I fail in a lot of these things. Abundant charity, love of righteousness, vision, wisdom, trust, faith, confidence in the power of the almighty. Does any of these things sound bad? No. What? These are all good things. These are all gifts that our creator gives to those who are seeking him. Okay, let's check out verse two. All these things come unto man into this world through communion with the Ruach of truth. All those who walk in the path which is set before them by the Ruach of truth shall receive health in their navel and marrow to their bones and shall find wisdom and hidden treasures of knowledge. These shall inherit eternal lives, even the continuation of the seeds forever and ever, worlds without end. Eternal shall be made Baraka and everlasting their joy in the realms of glory. For they shall be crowned with light and robed in glory and shall dwell in everlasting burnings in the presence of our Elohim. Okay, so this is the stuff that you get if you're on the good side. Now we're about to read the stuff about the wicked, the definitions of wickedness. So as we read through these, there should be a mirror in front of us because if any of us are falling into any of what we're about to read, then we're deemed as the wicked. So let's talk about this real quick. With the wicked, it is not so. For the fruits of wickedness are greed, malice, falsehood, pride, presumption, deception, guile, insolence, unrighteous anger, folly, arrogance, lewdness, unchastity, blasphemies, selfishness, blindness of the eyes, deafness of the ears, stiffness of the neck, and hardness of the heart. All right, well, um, I fall into a lot of these. Uh, there is um, unrighteous anger. That probably hits me. Um, 
I don't know. I, I don't know. There's a lot of these that will fall on a lot of us if we really look at this very closely. Does anyone pass this test? Does anyone pass this wicked test that we know that we are not wicked? I think we all get stiff-necked a lot. Yeah, I think we all get stiff-necked. I think we're all deaf in the ears. Um, these are... What you got, Jude? Uh, I say deaf in the ears. That's not always on purpose, but it's talking about like not listening. Yeah, it's it's absolutely not talking about being <laughs> deaf. And blindness isn't talking about being blind. It's talking about spiritual blindness that you can see the path of the, of the Shamim right before you, but you're unable to actually interpret it. You, you just don't know what you're seeing. All right, so these are, the, these are the things. You know, these are very, very important things. Two, such men walk entirely in the ways of darkness, and all their works are evil and abominable in the eyes of Elohim. Those who walk in the paths of evil shall receive a multitude of afflictions at the hands of the Kodesh messengers. These are the sons of perdition who are subject to the wrath of Elohim through all eternity. Eternal horror is their end and perpetual reproach, even the disgrace of final annihilation in the fire. For they shall dwell in outer darkness until their end, which is extinction without remnant or survival after this. Their lot no man knoweth, nor is revealed to any man save those who are made partakers thereof. All right. I'm not going to go any further than this. I think we're going to read these two. We'll call this one a reading chapter. But it this, uh, feels a lot like, you know, how number talks about the blessing of Christians for good and bad people. You know, this is what the bad people are. We see what the good people are. We see what the bad people are. And uh, if, if you have these traits of the wickedness, then you need to look at yourself and change your life. Yeah, and I, uh, I, I feel real bad because there's a lot of these things in here that um, sometimes we get arrogant. Um, sometimes we're selfish, right? We're, we're Cade by his admitted, we're, we're blind and deaf sometimes, the eyes and ears, stiffness of neck. Um, all of these things right here, these are our ways forward or ways not forward. So let's go back over the final things of here. The people of Elohim are this. They are, um, they have a discernment. They perceive the ways of Elohim. They have discernment to know the good from the evil. They reverence the name of Yahuwah and consciousness. They are, have humility, patience, abundant charity, love of righteousness, vision, wisdom, trust, faith, confidence in the power of the almighty Elohim, knowledge, self-mastery, sancti sanctity. That word looks real weird. I don't even know what that is. Sanctity. I think that is sanctity. Pure thoughts, Abounding love for all who follow the truth, purity, modesty, and the ability to hide within oneself the secrets of Elohim, which one has received. So in chapter 11, we have the what defines people who are Yah's people. And then in chapter 12, we have those who are Hasatan's people. And so what we want to do is we want to find these things in ourselves and we want to annihilate them and get them to where we are a, where we are a chapter 11 people. These are the qualities of what Yah is looking for right here. All of these things, right? Having faith like a child, having all of this stuff. And it's, it's very important that we know what Yah wants from us, how he wants us to behave, how he wants us to act. And there's a way that is, that is right to men. And, you know, if you guys are looking for the way forward, uh, which is the Torah, that begins with things like tomorrow's Shabbat keeping. Right. Keeping the Shabbat of Yah. And I know a lot of people are on different calendars. I know a lot of people aren't on the same calendars by any means, any shot whatsoever. But the fact is, are we doing this or are we not? If we don't know and we're not doing it because we just can't figure it out and we're, that's the answer for us. That's not the right answer. The right answer is that we are doing it and getting an alignment with our creator, whether or not we have the right day or not. And I'm not talking Christian Sunday keepers. I am not talking that. Christianity is a doctrine of devils and demons. It is a it is a satanic religion that has many people going to hell. And I know that breaks people's hearts. I know people say that's really hard, hard to speak, Jason. You shouldn't be speaking like that. But it is the truth. And that is why oftentimes the truth is very, very disheartening. Because it's it it makes us feel bad. And so, guys, with that, we are going to bid you guys farewell. We love you guys all. We thank you very much for hanging out with us. And we were, we will see you guys, y'all willing, tomorrow for Shabbat reading. Much love, everybody. All right. All right. Shalom. Shalom.